Hey there, so in this video, we're going to talk about getting people into your group. And you'll notice the little subtitle there says your new obsession. And uh, I'm not saying that lightly. If you are committed to growing your group, it will become and kind of should become your new obsession. Everything you do is going to direct people to your group. My favorite way of growing a group quickly with your ideal client audience is by tying it in with another event. And the reason that it's my favorite way is because this is exactly how I grew my own group. And it really just kind of makes a lot of sense. So let me explain. Okay, so let's say you are promoting a webinar, but of course, this could apply to anything. It could be a PDF download. It could be anything that you're promoting, but the idea is that you're promoting it big. Uh, so let's say it's a webinar, and typically when we are promoting a webinar, we are going to run Facebook ads or Instagram ads to the webinar. Okay, so we're promoting it, and we're getting the word out, and we're putting our best effort because we want to fill that webinar with registrants. Once they click on the ad, then of course they're going to be taken to an opt-in page or a landing page that gives them more details about the event. So ideally, they are going to opt-in and give their email address and uh, as you can see right below there, they are going to get a confirmation email that will happen automatically. And in that confirmation email, we want to mention the Facebook group and let them know that, hey, make sure and join the community where we will be uh, talking about the webinar before it begins. You can ask questions that you'd like to see covered in the webinar, whatever you need to say uh, that, of course, is in line with whatever it is your webinar or whatever is about, just let them know that that Facebook group is a supplemental extra that you are providing that will enhance whatever it is that you are promoting. Here's the big thing. After they opt in and give you their email address, they are going to land on a thank you page. And one thing I say all the time is never ever squander your thank you page. A lot of times, people's thank you page just say thank you but this is actually another opportunity for you to speak to the person who just opted in into your list and what I like to do I, sometimes I do videos sometimes I just do a graphic uh, let me show you an example of this okay, this one is super straightforward it is was created in a platform I love called new Kajabi I will link down to that service that platform down below uh, but this is pretty straightforward and I am definitely directing them straight to the front row. And it says, if you aren't already a member of my free online classroom, we'll be discussing the webinar after the fact. Please click the button below to join. Here's one that I was trying to drive people to a pop-up group that was for, a, for one of my programs called Social Media Summer Camp. So after they opted in for the freebie, they see this and then it says, now I hope you'll join our pre-camp party. I'll be hosting a series of value packed live stream giveaways, audits and more. They click here and then that takes them to the application to join the Facebook group. Here's one. Uh, I was promoting a freebie for a mini course called Marketing Mechanics. And when they land, they see this video. Of course, I am dressed as a mechanic and I am driving them to join the front row. This was from a while ago, so I'm also asking for a like on Facebook. I probably would take that off. Nobody cares about likes anymore. This one was created in another um, platform that I absolutely love that I have been using since the beginning of my business called Lead Pages, and they just specialize in every kind of landing page from opt in forms to thank you pages, all of it in Instapage and this one has a video and in the video I'm reminding them to add me as a contact in their email list and I talk about joining the group and again there's the button to join the group. Other ways to bring people into your group, run a dedicated Facebook ad about your group. A video is great for this and it should just be a short video that really 
makes your group so enticing, inspires curiosity where people are like, oh, I just got to join that group. And if you're not great with making videos, then you can find someone on Fiverr.com or Upwork. There's lots of people who do great animated videos. So start thinking of the kind of video that you can create that really conveys what your group is all about. Mention and link to your group in your email signature. Put it on your business cards. Highlight it on each of your social channels. Send an email to your list weekly highlighting the good stuff that happens in your group each week. Really, bottom line, tell everybody you know about your group. Those are all great things to do to get people into your group, but I come back to the number one special sauce method for getting people into your group, and that is connecting with another event. And the, the really the, the main reason is because what happens is because you are running an ad, then that means that you're going to get a lot of people all at once who are going to be coming into your group. So that means you never experience that awkward time of like just crickets, right? Where there's nobody there and you're sort of twiddling your thumbs and starting to second guess yourself and feeling really insecure. This will eliminate that. And it gets them excited because they see everybody else coming in and you're going to be interacting with them and creating engagement, which we're going to talk about in another video to really create excitement. And if right now, you know, you want to start a group, but you, you don't really have a webinar plan, then I would create an event specifically for this purpose. You're going to get, you're basically going to get uh, kill two birds with one stone. So if you have something that you sell, whether it's a course or a mini course or whatever, then you can create a webinar that ties in with the subject matter of your course, run a Facebook ad to it, and then of course do the thank you page that invites people into the group. You might even create a challenge. Maybe you do a three-day challenge or a five-day challenge, and people are going to be coming into your group uh, because that's going to coincide with your challenge. Once the challenge is over, if you've chosen a topic that applies to the community, the type of people who you want to build your community out of, then they're already in there. And so now you can talk about something else. The challenge is over. Now you're going to move on to your next thing. And it, you're going to create the natural segue into sort of your day-to-day -day group engagement, activity, subject matters, etc. I'll see you in the next video.